Welcome, in front of me is a Huawei Mate 40 Pro and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. So we're going to begin with the side panel um, which can be accessed by simply swiping from a side. As you can see it brings up this grid kind of thing instead of a back gesture and from here you have this panel. Now you can add more apps to it by simply tapping on a plus and adding more to it as you can see. Tap on done and voila we have more. But the benefit of this panel is actual, once you open up an app, you will be able to have this pop-up view of an app. Now this is also resizable. There we go. So you can resize it, you can also move it to the side. If you go home, it brings up this kind of almost an app head-like view. I can also open up more of it. No, oh, I already have one one of these so let's open up more and there we go as you can see we have a bunch of them open right now and they are all accessible through here so you can quickly access each one of them interact with them resize them if you want to as you can see and now this will also work with uh, YouTube if you manage to actually get the YouTube application um, but well I don't actually have YouTube here so can't really demonstrate it and yeah so let's close it now can I get rid of all of these and go to the next one which will also work with what I just showed you but it's gonna be the split screen now split screen can be also accessed through the uh, side panel right here but what you do is hold the icon and then you drag it over now when you drag it over it will open it up in full screen right but if you again bring up the panel grab another app you can choose where to drop it and this will open up a split screen and again it allows you to open up another app on top of that one as well so there we go i can also minimize it right there and as you can see you can use three different apps at the same time if you wanted to so just a neat feature. Now this will work better if you have something like YouTube open on your web browser and listen to music. Um, I would, although I'd advise you to open up YouTube uh, in a web browser on this tiny little window because you can make it small and kind of move it out of the way. I am uncertain if it will continue to play if it's in this mode so that is something that you have to test out. There we go. And then moving on to the next option, that's going to be the refresh rate of the device. Now, if we go to the settings and display and brightness, you will have refresh rate or screen refresh rate. And as you can see, we have two different ones. We have 60 and 90. Uh, kind of sad that for a something that claims to be a pro model, uh, the max refresh rate here is 90. Makes you feel like you overpay for a device that isn't really worth that much. Um, but that's neither here or there. So, as you can see, max is 90, and this will make everything look smoother, although this 90 kind of looks iffy, I would say. Um, it would have been still better to have 120, uh, but if high refresh rate is something that you don't want, uh, you can drop it to 60, and this will... For some reason, this looks very... Okay, so this is 16 right now. Let me quickly check something because it looks... Okay, so this is 90, okay. Uh, so, uh, high refresh rate is not something that you are interested in. You can drop it down to 60 and you also gain a little bit of battery uh, because of this. Now, higher refresh rate, if you're not even sure what it means, um, it basically increases the amount of frames you see each second of your display so by default 60 uh, refresh rate of 60 hertz uh, gives you 60 frames per single second uh, while 90 well gives you 90 instead of 60 and the easiest way to imagine this is with a slideshow um, so 
imagine a slideshow uh, moving image and that moving image goes instead of uh, has 60 different frames of it uh, to make that motion look well semi smooth and uh, if you add additional 30 frames to it it will look even smoother because you have additional content that it can display and that is basically what the refresh rate does it makes everything look smoother because there's more frames in between in between so it makes makes the experience a little bit better i would say uh, but that is something that you have to check out now the best way for you to see it in like a clear way is just kind of move up and down with the uh, with the menu like right here i am doing uh, and then enable the 90 hertz and try that disable it and try it again you will see that when you drop it uh, from 90 to 60 it will look like it's really choppy and won't look as good uh, but unfortunately this will not be visible on the camera because the camera is recording only at 60 frames so anything above that is well lost now moving on to the next option it's gonna be the good old dark mode which you can quickly access through the notification panel by tapping somewhere where is it there we go dark mode right over here and as you can see it turns dark that also will include default apps and it looks like it actually also changes the background let me quickly check that yeah but it does it looks like it changes the background as well so it looks like they borrowed from apple and their wallpaper shifts so kind of a nice feature right here and like i said it does include default apps and also because this is an amoled display any kind of background that is fully black like this one right over here uh, it's actually not being lit up so anything that is in the full blackness is not lit up this for instance buttons like this or stuff like here will be but because everything majority of the content of the display is just pure darkness and because of the amoled display and the pixels here being self-lit uh, they won't need to light up and that means that the battery won't need to be used to light up content that isn't needed and in terms of that it will save you a little bit of the battery now it won't be anything significant uh, might be like an additional hour or so uh, out of for instance 30 or 40 hours that you would gotten out of this device so it's not much but it's still there if that is something that you're interested in and then moving on to the last option which will be contrary to sa saving battery it's gonna be the always on display and on Huawei on at least this version of uh, UI uh, we do have under the this not here my bad under a home screen and wallpaper we all have always on display which you can enable and you can customize it even further so display mode we can set it to be scheduled so it will turn on at a given day uh, or not day but given time so you can set it to be only a night thing or only during your work hours whichever one you want uh, you also have the all day which will be just kind of like it being turned on all the time anyway and here we have the customization so we have images which we can choose from the ones that already are loaded up here we can also add our own if that is something that you want you can basically go to your images and simply select an image as a always on display which is really nice now the image that i have chosen might not be the best one but it is a option if that is something that you're looking for and then we'll have some uh, graphics which you can display on always on display um, make it possible so it gives you a quite nice array of different things that you can do here uh, com compared to what was before and it's really nice I really like this so as you can see there is oh, this one looks interesting so we have some impossible shapes right here so those are always interesting but yeah so you can tap on apply also have some clocks below and just a sim more simple graphics um, and now as you can see it's enabled so if i lock the device now it will show up this always on display now i'm gonna turn off the light just so you can see it a little bit better it does fade a little bit 
uh, but it's gonna be visible all the time and you can always get view if you've got some kind of notification see what time it is and have this always on display now like i said also at the beginning of this this will use a little bit more battery so if that is something that you are concerned about i would uh, advise you to not use it in this case uh, but and anyways this would conclude all the tweaks and tricks that i wanted to share and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching